division. Let us do some examples to revise the sums which we did in the previous class. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Here, the answer is called the quotient. Division as repeated subtraction. We know that division is repeated subtraction. Let us learn this through an example. Take a packet of chocolates with 12 numbers. You have to distribute them among students so that each student gets 3 chocolates each. Find out how many children will get the chocolates. First, you give 3 chocolates to one child. You are left with 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9 pieces. Give another 3 chocolates to the second child. Now you are left with 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6. Now give 3 chocolates to the third child. It will leave you with 6 minus 3 which is equal to 3 chocolates. You have only 3 chocolates now. Give them to the fourth child. You are left with 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0. So you gave 12 chocolates to 4 children with 3 pieces to each child. To equally distribute 12 chocolates we have repeatedly subtracted 3 from 12 for 4 times. We write this as 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Division as distribution. There are 4 groups of 5 cats each. To find out the total number of cats, we multiply 4 into 5 and we get 20. When you are asked to find out the number of groups, we use division. Total number of cats divided by the number in each group. That is, 20 divided by 5 we get the answer as 4 groups. Division on number line Let us use a number line and find the answer for 10 divided by 2. To find 10 divided by 2 means to find how many 2's are there in 10. Look at the number line. Start from 10 and take back moves of 2 each to reach 0. How many moves did we go from 10 to reach 0? It is 5 moves. Hence, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Let us see a division problem using pictures. From the given diagram, let us answer the following questions. How many balloons are there altogether? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many balloons are there in each group? 1, 2. How many groups are formed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many 2's are there in 10? 5. Therefore, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Long division. Example, divide 648 by 2. Step 1. Arrange the numerals below in the place value order. Step 2. Divide 600s by 2. 600s divided by 2 is equal to 300. Write 3 in the hundreds place in the quotient. Step 3. Bring down 4 tenths. Divide 4 tenths by 2. 4 tenths divided by 2 is equal to 2 tenths. Write 2 in the tens place in the quotient. 
Step 4. Bring down 8 once. Divide 8 once by 2. 8 once divided by 2 is equal to 4 once. Write 4 in the ones place in the quotient. Hence, 648 divided by 2 is equal to 324. Division with regrouping. Divide 735 by 3. Step 1. Arrange the numbers according to their place values. Step 2. Divide 7 hundreds by 3. 3 goes into 7 2 times. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Write 2 in the hundreds place in the quotient and 6 below 7. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. Step 3. Bring down 3 tenths. Now, 100 plus 3 tenths is equal to 13 tenths. Divide 13 tenths by 3. 3 goes in 13 4 times. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Write 4 in tenths place in the quotient and 12 below 13. 13 minus 12 is equal to 1. Step 4. Bring down 5 once. Now, 110 plus 5 once is equal to 15 once. Divide 15 once by 3. 3 goes into 15 5 times. 3 into 5 is equal to 15. Write 5 in ones place in the quotient and 15 below 15. Now, 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. The remainder is equal to 0. Thus the quotient is equal to 245 and remainder is equal to 0. Division with remainder. Divide 760 by 7. First, arrange the numbers. Step 2. Divide 700 by 7. 7 goes into 7 one time. Write 1 in the hundreds place of quotient and 7 below 7. Now divide 6 tens by 7. 7 does not go into 6. So write 0 in the tens place of quotient and bring 0 ones down. Now divide 60 by 7. 7 goes into 60 8 times. Write 56 below 60. The remainder is 4. The quotient is 108 and the remainder is 4.